r slash ask reddit. Ok season 973 says. People who were labeled gifted as children. What special things did you do with your gifts? Snow underscore Michael says. Wasted each and every one through my laziness. Did Octus says. Being told you are special, realizing you are smarter than the other kids, never having to try to learn, and always passing the tests with flying colors when younger. You just stop trying, because school is easy. Then at some point, all the other kids catch up and overtake you, because you just never tried, didn't grow you gift, while they worked and worked at it. Pretty underscore monotonous says. Become depressed. Jet 3 t tier 94 says. Burnout. Adverb Saradam says. Not me, but my gifted husband has mostly spent his life just trying to be as average as possible so as not to draw attention, while also enjoying his hobbies, being randomly witty and brilliant, and working extra hard on the things he's not gifted in. Account by force says. I literally did nothing, and suffered from that later in life. I was a damn smart kid. Didn't have to put in any work, was never challenged, and so I never learned to work. So when no work and all play caught up to me around 15, I didn't have any drive or work ethic that could push me through it. I could do math in my head real I I I I fast though. Running underscore zombie underscore says. Putting aside that the label is BS to begin with. Went through the gifted extended curriculum. Scholarships. Early placements. Even had some idiot write about me in the local paper. All the blah blah blah. Turned out to be a semi-functional human with perfectionism and self-esteem issues that spiral any time I get any type of criticism. Lucky to have a patient partner who always reassures me, while still surprised about how many things make me insecure. As a fun side note, you should do it, you be good. Aren't you good at everything? May sound like a compliment from friends and family, but it's just never ending pressure. I missed out on trying, so many things I really wanted to because I thought I'd fail, so I didn't bother. Zero tenths wouldn't recommend. Death underscore has underscore relaxed underscore me says. Saw through social constructs before puberty. And depressed ever since. Gamera Grill says. Graduated HS 7 weeks after turning 16, dropped out of college just shy of 18. Created an algorithm still in use today I don't make a dime on. Wound up completely socially awkward. Went completely nuts just shy of 32, did 17 and one half months inpatient in a facility, and was pensioned out after my release. I now take fistfuls of drugs, to stave off major recurring depression, bipolar, auditory hallucinations and host of anxiety related problems. Move to S. America, eventually started a small animal sanctuary mostly dealing with senior and special needs dogs, but taken anything I can scrape together money to care for. Discovered I'd rather spend my time with animals than most people. I still participate in the peer review process, because I know how much I struggled to get readers, but otherwise I just take care of my animals. Jb Sanderson says. Cycled between the Dean's List and Academic Probation. Got fully funded offers for PhD programs at the top of my field. Washed out of PhD program without even a masters. Bounds between jobs, get identified early on as an asset, lose interest in mundane tasks, get frustrated with not getting raises, but getting more responsibility in tasks. Turns out, gifted meant that I was capable of hyperfocus, and figuring out all the material. I also poorly regulate my attention. So I was a bit of a pain in the ass in the classroom, so teachers got me out of their hair, by sending me to gifted programs and events. Basically, like many others, gifted was just misdiagnosed ADHD. I will say a lot of the gifted programs do many things right, but some very wrong for what accommodating and working with ADHD should look like. Sort of a right answer, wrong formula solution my schools landed on. 1. Says. 
I was gifted academically, and went to a special school for it and all that jazz the catch was, that I slowly became severely detached from anything I wasn't interested in, and highly excelled slash hyperfocused at the things I was curious about. Thankfully, there's a lot I wanted to learn, but I remember for example, anything history related there was almost a defiant refusal to open the book, I didn't find the subject having as much utility as something like the math and sciences, which I regularly got perfect scores with low effort. So, today, approaching my 40s, I'm highly self-directed, still love learning, hate people telling me what I should be working slash focusing on and make over six figures doing something I was self-taught. r slash ask reddit Booker T3 says What fictional villain had more success than Emperor Palpatine? He ruled an intergalactic empire for decades and he virtually massacred every good aligned superhuman who could have overthrown him. When compared to Sauron, Voldemort ETC who can eclipse his success. Sinorpadin says. Infinity War Thanos. Dude had a goal, wipe out half of life in the universe, retire to a farm. Does just that. Does he die? Yes. But if it wasn't for insane time travel his plans would not be able to be undone. Who am I 1138 says. The god Emperor Leto II from Dune, depending on your point of view. Lemurian Lima Lad says. Padisha Emperor Leto II from the Dune series certainly qualifies as villainous to many people. His rule lasted for 3500 years, and spanned multiple galaxies. His rule and power were, so absolute was known as the God Emperor of Dune by his allies and the tyrant of the known universe by his foes. Craig the Old Lord says. The Emperor of Mankind, Warhammer 40k. Sun Berriman says. Ozymandias from the Watchmen pretty much entirely succeeds in his plan. Rorschach's diary is a bit of a loose end, but whether or not it ends up undoing his success isn't answered by the canon. Queer guy the gay dude says. Frieza also had an intergalactic empire and he doesn't even need an apprentice. Red Knight 143 says. Fire Lord Oze from Avatar could be number 2 under Palpatine. He basically succeeded in everything until the finale of the show. Manic Pixie underscore horse boy says. Got. Scare Jessica 2 death says. Mojo Jojo. He was secretly sticking his monkey dick in all the power puff girls. R slash ask reddit. Pesky underscore key says. Joseph Heller once said, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they aren't after you. What is your best example of that in your life or historically? Never underscore wanted underscore to says. Ernest Hemingway. Committed suicide because, he said, he was being watched by the CIA, and it was making him crazy. I don't know if anybody took him seriously, but he was believed to be suffering a paranoid delusion for many years after his death. He was right, they were watching him. Tarmac Pullout 68 says. Nice try FBI. Jelly Shoddy 2062 says. I worked with an Irish nurse. He told me a story about how he worked as a fellow that served warrants in Ireland as a contractor for the police. A man had missed his court appointments, and needed to be brought into custody. They went over to the man's place, and asked neighbors for his whereabouts, he was at the local grocery store, so they followed him there. They drove up in an unmarked van, and proceeded to bum rush him as he was trying to put groceries in the car. Two men in black stab proof vests, one shouting stop struggling we are not going to hurt you, just get in the van as they manhandle this horrified stranger. The kicker was the man had skipped out on his bail hearings, because he was a paranoid schizophrenic, convinced people were coming to abduct him. When my coworker told me this story my only response was, but he was 100% right. Sporadic Motion says. Gotta find a way, to find a way, when I'm there. Mark Thunderscore Wee says. Along those same lines, I got called out in a meeting. 
to which I was not invited, by a less than amazing manager, who said Mark Thunderscore we's just being paranoid. A few minutes beforehand I'd sent along evidence that less than amazing manager had been doing some sketchy stuff. Apparently, one of the other senior folks said that would be a lot more believable, if he didn't keep finding you doing the shit he's worried you do. It's now time for an unpaid shoutout. Check out Entropic Decay Gaming on YouTube for retro long plays and Golden i64 custom maps. Lance Cassidy's love for classic gaming will transport you back to a time when games were simpler, but no less exciting. Subscribe now using the link in the description. R slash ask reddit. Run DNA says. Some parks have giant chess sets. What's another board game that would work well on a huge board in the park? Hey abuser 71 says. Snakes and ladders. Park 0G says. Boppets. We need boppets. Nightwing Robert says. Monopoly. Derp Herbstrom says. Aren't we all just playing the largest version of Game of Life possible? Norma Meatba said human says. Warhammer 40,000. Blood for the Blood God. Specialist underscore brush underscore 561 says. Checkers. But Hulk with us says. Axis and allies would be sweet, as long as you also had some oversized dice. Damn underscore it underscore Billy says. Glory holes. A giant line of glory holes. Everybody wins even grandma. Horny Douglas says. Nine men's Morris. Just John 8 says. Operation. Remember we lost says. Sorry. Wise underscore stick 9613 says. Shoji, Japanese chess. Trailer Park Prepper says. King Louis the 16th, Knight Jumps Queen. Bishop Jumps Queen. Pawns Jump Queen. Gang Bang. Dirtimony says. The Royal Game of Ur. Rowena Raven Claw Zero says. Operation would be awesome. Snowpeppers 734 says. Jenga. Fed Aspondent Unicorn says. Hungry Hungry Hippos would be pretty rad. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.